today's news. Rules to hold specialized money auction do not meet modern demands. Values of new media era discussed in Baku. Prosecutor asks court to imprison Eni Lafatulai for three years. Rules to hold specialized money auctions on sale of state property ratified by the President's decree on 22nd June do not meet transparency principles. This was claimed by www.sehim.us portal director Hafiz Babali in a press conference he held on 13th June. According to him, new rules were prepared to regulate the sale process of one part of shareholder assets with specialized auction methods. Not participation of the main factor, but services or information technologies should be preferred in the realization of specialized auctions and identification of winners. At the same time, presentation of money allocations and cash to center for auction for buying share is necessary. This is contrary to the government's policy on lowering cash accountancy to the minimum. Furthermore, this makes the security of investors and their allocations questionable, said Babale. According to Babale, the applying of these rules will lead to falsified auction results. Privatization process is controlled by neither state nor public institutes in Azerbaijan, so it's very easy to change the results of this or another investor. According to the results, today's check auctions are also conducted too, said Babale. A two-day conference and seminar called Valleys of New Media Era began in Baku. The event is held through financial support of the European Broadcasting Union, Norwegian Public Broadcasters, SVT, UR, YLEDR and Inarki, and the partnership of Azerbaijani Media Center. European Broadcasting Union Chief Director Ingrid Diltand opened the event and said that this event is not held in Baku by chance. According to the chief director, there are shortcomings in the field of freedom of speech and media in Azerbaijan, and holding this event in Baku is a call to remove these shortcomings. Azerbaijani Presidential Administration's Social Political Department head Ali Hassanov delivered a speech. He said in his speech that Azerbaijani media does not have serious problems, but only minor problems which are being addressed. OSCE former representative on freedom of media, Columbia University Dr. Miklos Harashti spoke about three main problems in Azerbaijani media. He criticized continuous imprisonment of Riyane Azerbaijan and Gundalik Azerbaijan newspapers, editor-in-chief Enullah Fethullayev, bloggers Emin Abdullayev and Adnan Hajizadeh, the delay in adopting law on defamation and government statements regarding licensing of the Internet. Then the event continued with a questions and answers session followed by general discussions and voicing of criticisms. The main criticisms were regarding the operation of public TV and state TV channel, government's failure to execute the decision of the European Court of Human Rights to immediately release Enu Lafatulai. Presidential Administration Representative Ali Hassanov strongly objected to these criticisms. <laughs> The event began on 13th June and finished on 1st July. 13th June, in the Garadak District Court, under the chairmanship of Judge Ismail Khalilov, a hearing was held on the criminal case against the editor-in-chief of Gindalik Azerbaijan and Real Azerbaijan newspapers, Enul Fatulayev. State plaintiff Elchin Nagay spoke first during the hearing. He said that Fatulayev was a danger to the public and there are no elements in his case that would reduce the seriousness of his case. 
Therefore, Nagayev said that Sefatullaev should be convicted under Article 234.1 of the Criminal Code. Illegal purchase or storage narcotics or psychotropic substances in an amount exceeding necessary limit for personal consumption and not intended for sale and should be sentenced to three years of imprisonment. The prosecutor said Fatulayev should serve his term in a special regime prison. Next, Fatulayev's attorney Sahan Ashurov spoke. He said that he did not expect a just and fair decision from this court. The outcome of this hearing has been sketched in various offices, not here in court, said Ashurov. The lawyer talked about various violations of Fatulayev's rights. He said that an operational search should be conducted without court order, only when it's urgent. However, this search was conducted without a court order, and the journalist was not given an opportunity to contact his lawyer. At the end of his speech, Ashurov asked the court to exonerate Enila Fatulayev and inform relevant agencies and government entities about the illegal actions of the chief and employees of prison number 12. Fatulayev stated that this trial should have ended after prison number 12 prison chief spoke as a witness. In his speech, the prison chief said that narcotics could be planted in Fatulayev's clothing or the journalist should even be strangled in prison. According to Fatulayev, this testimony confirmed that the charges against him are false. In closing, Fatulayev said that chief prosecutor Zakir Garolov insulted him by calling him a drug addict before the culmination of this trial and he intended to sue Garolov. The trial is scheduled to continue on 1st July at 2 p.m. when Enola Fatulayev will make his closing statements. Many local and international observers were present at the trial today, including former OSCE special representative for Media Freedom Miklos Harashti. On April 20, 2007, the editor-in-chief was convicted under Articles 214.1, Threatening Terror, 283.2.2, Incitement of Ethnic, National, Social, or Religious Hatred, Abusing Authority of the Criminal Code, and was sentenced to three trial detention. Enola Fatulaya was then convicted under 213.2.2, Tax Evasion. Enola Fatulaya was sentenced eight years, five months of imprisonment on 13 October 2007 under the decision adopted by the Grave Crimes Court. However, on 22 April, the Strasbourg Court considered the decisions issued against Fatulaya unfounded and demanded his immediate release. Azerbaijani government refuses to execute this decision. The current process is regarding accusation of storage of narcotic substances.